to my rise today. So, as always, guys, let me know if you can hear me because, you know, that's the typical question that I ask. So, who is there? Okay, have to see the message, the message here because, okay, a moment. I'm going to see the message here. Here, no, here. <laughs> Hola Wally, ¿cómo estás? Wally is the first one, el primero today. Herbert, hola. <laughs> Herbert said that I'm a crazy girl. Why the hell I'm crazy? I know that I'm crazy, but I want to know why you think that I'm crazy. Um, uh, what are you talking about, Mark? Okay, I don't know what the hell is happening. I don't know. Oh, oh, Mark. Mark say Maya. Hola, Flex Alat. Hola, ¿cómo están? Hola. Okay, so we have 11 people here, 11 people watching. So in the last video that I did about Encanto, uh, many of you, you know, when YouTubers say, YouTubers and Instagrammers say many people ask me because nobody did it. <laughs> but actually in the message, I have uh, some comments saying like, hey, my, I want to cook rice. So I say like, what the hell? So let's cook some rice. Have to say that I don't eat rice at this time because it's kind of late, you know, but what the hell? Let's just cook it <laughs> and let's get fat together. Why the hell not? So let's see who else is joining me tonight from my kitchen. Yes, rice. <laughs> Hola, Leonardo, como estas? How are you? I'm hungry. Mm. Actually, I am not hungry. But you are going to be hungry after training you the rice. You know, there, there, was, there was a guy telling me, like, what the hell, Maya? You don't know how to cook a rice? And I said, like, what the hell are you talking about? I know how to cook a rice. He's like, I have been cooking rice forever. Well, not forever, but since I was 12 years old. So, of course, I know how to make a rice, you know? How to make a dumb rice. Hola, Cassine, ¿cómo estás? Hola Maya, hello everyone. Oh my God, I love when you say hola everyone because it made me feel like we are a family, like we are a group, you know? I like it. Where is the donate link? Okay, um, oh wow, amazing. I'm going to paste it. Uh, and thank you for asking for the donation link. So I'm going to paste it here. I guess that I have it here. I don't have it, as always, you know. So I have to look for the link. What a surprise, Maya, you never had the link and you're asking for support, but you don't have the link. Yeah, this is me. No. Okay, let me see what is the link because I don't have it. I don't know why I don't have it. Okay, let me see. No, no pega. Mm. Okay, a ver, desde, mm, okay, okay, I'm going to look for that link in a bit, and thank you, thank you for your support, guys, I, I don't have it, but I'm going to find it somewhere, oh, I find it, it's right here, okay, let me just copy it and paste it right here. Hola, Eric. ¿Cómo estás? Oh, we have our first super chat. Yes. We can celebrate with the caldero. No, I don't think you're going to like that because it's very noisy. So, Eric, thank you so much. Oh, you see people. I see somebody here. Oh, yeah, Alexander. Alexander Taylor. ¿Cómo estás, Alexander? Okay. 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 Let me see. Okay. Estoy bien, Alexander. ¿Cómo estás? Yeah, I'm going to make just plain rice, like white rice, not coconut rice. Actually, I have a video doing coconut rice, but I think I have to update it. That's a very old one. Yes, Hugh, Hugh, Hugh Bowe. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation. Actually, you cannot see it, but yesterday, guys, I bought a huge board. Board, I think that that's the name, and I have scheduled all the videos for this month because you know now I have the time, now I have everything, so I'm going to start like I'm making a lot of videos. So I have my board right there. <laughs> I cannot show you because actually 
Uh, this is like the cleanest part of the house. Like uh, when you go over there, it's not as clean as this part, as this part but I have a huge board. Uh, it's, it's such a shame that I cannot show it to you. Like el, el tablero, compré un tablero para, <laughs> para anotar. So, okay. so why not? Why the hell not? So come over here. Okay, let me see. The thing is that I don't have light. Okay, so look at this, guys. I don't know if you can see it. Actually, what is the light? I don't have light here. Oh, I do? Oh, yeah, I do. Sorry, I thought that the light was burnt. So that's why I didn't, whatever. So I bought this huge board and I'm going to organize all the videos that I'm going to do this month because the goal is to make at least, I think like 15 videos. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do it, but I'm definitely ready to do that. And um, also for my Patreons, you know, I have a lot of Patreons, so I'm going to start creating content. You know, I have a, <laughs> actually, I always say my Patreons, I'm going to start making videos. I'm going to start like a creating like a private content for the, oh, private sounds a little bit sexual, but not that kind of, that kind of content. So I always say, wait, I'm about to do it. And I never do it because something happened, you know, but now guys, listen, I'm ready. I'm freaking ready to explode this YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, let's hear. Yeah, so I know you're here for the rice. So let's just wait a little bit and we are going to check the rice. I hope that you have the ingredients. It's just rice, oil, I don't know, like onion and salt. That's it. Huge. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Oh, Silas, hola, Silas, amigo mío, ¿cómo estás? Yeah, I, I'm going to teach how to cook rice. Teach, I don't know, maybe teach. I don't know if it's teach, but I'm at least I'm going to show you how to make a good rice. David, you're beautiful. Oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> Heather said, do you keep in touch with Ace? Uh, I think that the last time that we talked was like a, a month ago and he was telling me that there was a guy here. He was, he, see his friend, something like that. He was telling me like uh, to meet him, but I didn't do it. So I guess, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't meet him, but I think that he's, he's still here in Bogota. Actually, he, he's the nephew of Passport Span. Yeah, Passport Span, if you're here, I'm sorry. I promise you that I'm going to make room to like uh, to to meet you guys. Hola to mama. My mom is in my hometown. Oh my god, I'm so grateful for that. Not because I love my mom, you know. Why I needed my space. The only problem, you know, that I had is that now I'm living in a, in a house which is huge. Like uh, when I was when my mom came here, I was living alone, you know, just one bedroom, you know. But now I have a house huge house with three bedrooms you know so when you have a house this big the cleaning part is not like a something that you know i want to do so i think that i'm going to move out i'm going to look for another place like a smaller one i think that this is too big for me <laughs> thickness stuff yeah uh, thickness guys uh, say mm, yummy arroz <laughs> Arroz, it's arroz. He say arroz, arroz, arroz. Hey, Tony, ¿cómo estás, Tony? And Jesús, as always, Jesús. He's always here. Thank you so much, Jesús. ¿Cómo estás? I'm from, I am an Afro-Canadian. Wow, amazing. That's great. And, ooh, amazing. Okay. I seen a walk pan. I wanted to buy it. Actually, I have a walk pan here. I don't know what he said, but actually when you want to make a rice, the secret is a pan who, which looks like this. <laughs> Here, you may be saying like, a, come on girl, you should buy another one, like a, take this donation and buy another pan. Are you kidding me? Like a, having a pan like this one is very important. You have to be like this. Look at this. Maybe say, Maya, at least clean it. No, if you clean it, you're going to, you're going to miss the flavor. You're going to lose the flavor. So you have to be like this. Like, and actually this looks very good because I have seen ones in other houses and they look like, 
I don't know, like coal. I don't know how to say. It. I don't know how to say it. with a lot of carbon. I don't remember the word. They are literally burned, you know. Okay, so I'm going to start in a bit. Ed, ¿cómo estás? Ed Burrage, I have been, I have been missing you. ¿Cómo estás? Hey. Okay, Jesus is asking for a house tour. Okay, that's a little bit difficult. But if you if you stay until the end, I will do a house tour. I promise. Okay, wait. I think that I have. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> I have a I have a a, a, a donation here in PayPal. Oh my God, it's very exciting, you know. Uh, Leonardo, thank you so much, Leonardo. Oh my God, you're amazing. Keith, thank you so much. Oh my God, this baby's so happy, guys. Thank you, because like a, you enjoy this. And that this means that I'm going to the right path. So I love it. Thank you so much, guys. And John, John, really, thank you. And my friend, John Duncan. John Duncan is always here. Actually, I think that this is an old notification, but I don't care. Thank you so much, John. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Let's start. Hey, Frank Hoyes, how are you? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start with this, guys. So I'm going to try to like uh, go back to my cell phone to read the comments. So I don't know if you are watching this because you're going to make the rise, <laughs> but I don't care. I'm going to think like you're going to make the rise. Uh, I don't know, guys, if you remember that Leanne said that she wanted a man like uh, to cook for her uh, like uh, at least once so if you are going to date a colombian woman i think that it's very important to cook rice it's like uh, it's like are you kidding me maya i'm not going to be cooking for no one guys at least rice you know so i don't have many followers like female followers <laughs> but i know that you're going to enjoy this okay so have here the pan have here the oil I buy this oil in, in a store, which is very cheap, which is called the Uno, like big one. Oh my God, they have amazing things and all of them are very cheap. Now we are going to have, a, I really love to add garlic to my rice. So I'm going to get some garlic. I can assure you my fridge is also messy. Look at Maya, you never clean, I do clean. But it's like this house is huge, you know. So I'm going to use garlic and I'm going to use green onion. So this depends of what you like. In my case, I like to add garlic and green onions. My mom say that it have to be green onion. Like if you have the other onion, like the big one, I don't know, the red one or uh, the, the white one. No, don't do that. It's not going to be the same. So you have to be green so well, why not so this is called here cebollin so why the hell let's teach spanish also so this is called cebollin and this is called ajo i already know this name how this is called guys i already told you in my encanto video so i told you the name so what is the name of this so now you have to find i have to find a really big knife I don't know why you you need a big knife if you are just gonna go, <laughs> if you're just going to cook rice. But I like big knife. You know, somebody guys in the in my last video. Come on, in my last video, somebody was telling me like, Maya, what the hell? You are not wearing Crocs in your house. Why the hell are you wouldn't choose? And I said like, Oh my God. I don't know if you like Crocs, guys, but to me, the Crocs are the awful thing. I don't know, those are evil. I hate Crocs, but I know that many people like it. But in my case, oh my God, they are not for me. So I am always wearing shoes in my house. Like sometimes I don't, but most of the times I do. Like I like it in that way. Okay, so let's see what is happening. Because otherwise I'll be talking like a crazy here. So let me know if you like Crocs. Fried rice? No, no, no. This is not fried rice. Uh, like, you know, there is uh, the rice, the Japanese rice, or like, you know, when you are eating sushi. I have done that one. 
and that doesn't have oil like and it gets like the text the texture is different here you need a little bit of oil like not a lot but you need oil yeah that's important <laughs> okay <laughs> Cory dice hola soy Maria Ener <laughs> It looks like my mom is watching it. <laughs> so this is going to be a problem because she's going to know that I don't know how to cook rice. Like I, <laughs> in front of me, you can say, I am the best making rice. But in front of her, I don't know if I can say it. Like, oh, yes, yes. They say, uh, firestorm say, lo crocs are a tragedy. Yes, <laughs> they are awful. Who the hell can look good like uh, with, with crocs? I, I don't understand who the hell wear that. But I also know that they, there are another group of people who love crocs and they have like a casual crocs and they have like a, a I don't know, a sporty crocs, like a many different ones. Like a, they are mental. <laughs> they are not. Okay, Maya, let's not judge people here because I don't judge people. So let's forget about it. Yes, Jerry just won a dancing because he, <laughs> no, because he actually the name is Caldero. Yeah, yeah, great job, Jerry. You know, guys, I'm a teacher, so I am always, I don't know, calificating everybody around me. Like, oh, good job, baby, you did it good. Yeah, this is me. I'm weird, you know. Yeah, it's a crocs are not cool. No, at all. Like, who the hell looks good wearing that? Like, uh, I don't like that. Are you fit? Seven feet tall? Oh my God, I would love that. No, I am. Okay, if you include my hair. Okay, Leonardo is gonna say, this woman say that she, I am actually five nine, I think. But I guess that if you include my hair and the shoes and everything, it could be like a five thing. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Hey, Adam, Mitchell, como estas? How are you? Who is looking at your feet? Who is looking at my feet? I don't know. Oh, somebody saying that la cámara no tiene foco. Okay, so let's check. Yeah, yeah. Who is looking at my at my feet? I don't know. That guy was looking that I, I wasn't wearing like a Crocs in the house. But to me, it was funny. It was funny. I am six four. Hmm. Okay. Good. I guess. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Look at this Leonardo. Leonardo say she wants to be five nine. <laughs> what the hell, Leonardo? What do I have to do? You have to believe me. Look at this. Look at this. No, no, I'm just kidding. Hey, Melvin, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás, Melvin? Okay, let's start. Let's start. Hey, uh, guys, they're already here. 64 people watching me. So I guess that it's a Sunday, you know, not many people want to see a, a crazy woman cooking a rice, but I don't know. I'm going to send the link in case that you want to support the channel. Okay, there you go. I have it. It's just there. I am looking at my legs. Okay, what is wrong with my legs? What is happening? Actually, guys, you don't know, but I have been working out. So now, I don't know if you can see this, like I'm getting muscles on my legs. I love it. Okay, so let's just start with this. So I'm crazy about garlic. I don't know, dientes, I don't know how you call this. So I don't know if this is too much. So you can, let's, let's think that you're going to make the rice. So you can add, I don't know, if you don't like that much, don't add that much. In my case, I love it. So let's just do this. So if you have any question, guys, just shoot it. Shoot the questions. And as soon as I'm done with this, I will, I will answer them. Guys, important thing, important thing. Yesterday I went out with one of my students, Roy, I don't know if you're here, but he was surprised because in all the restaurants, they were asking for the vaccination passport, like a vaccination card. So he was like, what the hell? I'm not going to show anything, like, not with the knife, like, I'm not going to show anything. Like, are you kidding me? Why you guys allow the government to do that to you? And I say, okay, I understand that you are right. But the thing is that if you don't show your vaccination card or carnet or I don't know, 
certification, I don't know how you call it, you are not going to be able to enter the restaurant. So he didn't have it because they are, actually they are asking for the paper, you know, the paper. It has to be printed. So he found uh, an old picture in his cell phone and that's what he showed. And they were like, oh, I, I told the waitress like, okay, he's not from here. He doesn't have the paper. And she said, okay, cool. So they allow him to go inside. So I know that can be annoying. So, if, but if you're coming to Colombia, make sure guys that you have it. Actually, he's now in Medellin, but he told me that in Medellin, they are not asking about like in all the restaurants about the vaccination card. So I guess that in Medellin is not like that, but in Bogota, that's mandatory. Like uh, every time they're going to enter a restaurant, that is going to happen. Like uh, it's very important. Okay. So I don't know what I'm saying this, but it's just uh, his face. He was very surprised. Like, uh, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? I was like, I'm not kidding. You need to show it. So any question? Alguna pregunta por ahí? I don't know if you wash the garlic when you, oh, when, like once you peel it. I don't do it. I don't know. ¿Qué haces? David, I'm cooking rice. Well, now I am chop, 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 chop. Garlic, 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 garlic. So I just put it like a, I just chop it like a really small. There are some people like they just do like a big pieces because they will like, a, once their rice is done, they will like a retire, like a take it off the rice. But I don't do that. I do that with the garlic, with the onion. Okay, okay, chop, 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 Guys, if you can send me questions in Spanish, that would be great also. Okay, so now we have the garlic. I think that the garlic is done. Hey, Hugh, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Oh my God, I am so excited. Finally, I'm going to do YouTube a full time. Like I always say that, believe me guys, this time is true. So in the video that I did, I was telling you, Colombians like uh, touch everything with their hands. If you have a problem with that, don't come here. That's the way in which you cook. So, so now, what I do, I'm going to use onion. I, in this case, I use uh, I don't chop it like uh, that much. I don't cut it that much because I like the onion to be big. You know, the bigger the better. So this is how I use it. Oh yes, Alexander, you are I'm traumatized. <laughs> I'm traumatized because of my father. You know, I'm going to. I'm going to say he this video. Of course, you're not going to watch it. Yeah, I'm traumatized. Okay, this is not working. I'm traumatized. <laughs> all meal. I'm making all meal today. Okay, so let's do this. And now I make a mess. So this part of the onion, guys, I don't use it. I don't know if you see it. It's like, what the hell is this? This is like a... You see the difference between this and this? I don't know. I don't use this. So I don't want to use it. Okay, Jay Love say, arrogant American. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what happened. Arrogant Americans don't want to buy their own safety protocols. But in a complain about Colombian law. Yes. Yes, guys. I understand that not many people like uh, agree with that. And actually, I, I was telling you my last life. That in Colombia there were people protesting like uh, because they were like uh, many people don't agree you know the thing is that at the end at the beginning many people were like uh, getting the, the vaccine you know but now they stopped doing it and that's why they um they are asking for the vaccination card and many foreigners say like I'm not gonna show it and I say Actually, they want to do that mostly for Colombians, you know, because Colombians, 
they they want maiden to take the vaccine to keep like a taking the vaccine. Come on. Vale. Okay, so I'm going to add the oil. You don't supposed to add much, but I always add a little bit more. And now I'm going to wait a bit. Okay, let me see the question. Okay. Okay, what type of olive oil? Oh my God, I like this question because it's like you are actually gonna do it. <laughs> okay, so I buy this one. Aceite de oliva extra virgen. This say that is from Spain. And I like this one because actually this one is like, like $4. Yeah, like it's very, very cheap. So I like it a lot. So now I'm going to add this. Woo, I love garlic. Okay, okay. Why my rice is good? Because if I make it, are you kidding me? I don't know, but actually in many people from Bogota have said that my rice is good. Like uh, actually the rice changed, like uh, according to the region also, like uh, the, way in we, the way in which they make it. In my case, I think that my rice is very good. So now I'm going to wash my rice. I'm going to use, I'm going to, Como? What is the Bible tellers? Is it is a team or something? How can I say you are uh, peaceful? Oh, I would like that. Uh, I don't know. How is Yeah, it, it, send me an email. Send me an email. I would love that. Okay, now. Okay, I hope that this is not gonna burn. Okay, let me show you. This is the rice that I'm using. Roa señora Ross, de las señoras. Actually, that's very a weird way to say it. Like I remember that was a, a commercial. Like they say Roa señora Ross, de las señoras. They say Roa is the rice of the women, something like that. I don't know. So now I'm going to wash it. Very good. You have to wash it. If you don't wash it, it's not gonna taste good. And please don't let, don't let the uh, garlic burn. So I give it like a three, three wash until the water sound like I get a little bit, I don't know, like see-through, I don't know, clear, uno, so this is the second one. ¿Cuántas personas hay viendo? So we have 70 people watching this. How many of you are going to make the rice? Be honest with me, how many? So I think that this is ready. So now I just add it here. And that's it. And here I'm going to add the water. So remember that there are two cups per two cups two cups of water per cup of rice. But actually, I don't use I use I use two cups of rice. So that means that we need four cups of water. But actually, I don't use the four. I put a little bit less. Now you do this, and that's it. And that's it. Actually, I was telling you. Okay, so I'm sorry, but I burned, I burned the, the onion. Now you are going to add the salt, and that's it. The rice is done. You can, I don't know, watch TV, eat, like a drink wine or whatever. Ah, salt, 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 salt. So I'm using here sea salt. I like it better. I don't know if you know, guys, but in Colombia, in Colombia, we eat rice every single day. So that's like, actually, we can eat rice like uh, even three times per day. So this is a lot of rice. 
you know, my mom never tastes the rice. Like, uh, she never measures the water. She just do it like that. But in my case, I have to taste it. And she has a trick to know if the rice has enough water. I already told you in the video, like, uh, the spoon have to, I don't know, step here, stand here. Okay, that means that my rice is not going to be good. Sorry, mom. I didn't learn anything with you. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to stop making a fool out of me here. <clears throat> and we have to try it. We have to taste it to see. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. Now, I put this, the lid on, to make sure that it's going to cook, I don't know, like faster. But my mother doesn't do it. She only put the lid uh, when it's already, I don't know, like dry, something like that. When the water evaporates, something like that. Okay, so let me read the comments here while this is whatever. Oh, no, no, no. Edge is asking me if I learned this by myself. No, from my family. <laughs> Friends say America is a big rice eater. Oh, my God. In Colombia, you know what I find funny is that all the foreigners, foreigners, I don't know, look at that, I'm learning, like foreigners who visit me, they always say, oh my God, that's a lot of rice. How you guys keep like a feet, you know? Because actually in Colombia, the obesity, I don't know, levels like are not that high. And I see like, a, and they say like, how the hell you guys are not fat? Be honest, Colombians walk a lot, guys. And even though we eat rice like three times per day, we are not that fat. And actually, you know, for me it was shocking when I was in Virginia because the lunch was like a sandwich. And I said like, what the hell? How the hell am I going to make it to dinner with a sandwich? Like, a, like a, that's, that's how it happened, you know? And sometimes you can, they can even have cereal for lunch. Like, a, how the hell is it gonna work? But the dinner was big, you know? So for me, it was very hard to adjust to that because I was like a, having a very small lunch with a huge dinner. And in Colombia, it's not in Colombia you have huge, huge breakfast. No, like a not that big breakfast. Maybe sometimes like a really big lunch, like with soup, rice, everything. And the dinner is gonna be lighter, but over there it was different. So I think that that's why I was I gained so much weight when I was there. Because I was cooking like a Colombian, you know, I was, I was having a, a big lunch and then I was, I was having a big dinner, you know. And another thing that I found interesting, but interesting slash weird or whatever, is that you guys eat dinner very early, like at six, seven, you are eating dinner. In Colombia, you can have dinner at 10, like, and that's normal, like at 10 p.m., we can have dinner that late. Okay, so let me read what other, okay, have to come over here because the light. Oh my God, bandeja paisa. Honestly, guys, I don't eat that much. Like a, I can eat bandeja paisa like a once per year and I will get like bloaty and everything. So let's like, a, no, just once per, per, day, per year. Actually, I don't know how, how paisas do it. Like, uh. I don't know if they are eating bandeja paisa all the time or that's just for foreigners, tourists. I don't know, but I cannot do that. Yay! <laughs> Leonardo say, finally, foreigners. Yes, I'm telling you, I'm learning. Yes, I'm learning. <clears throat> uh, Frank Ellie say, I eat rice. I eat brown rice. I actually have brown rice here, uh, but for the recipe, I just use white rice because brown rice is it takes more time to do it actually let me show it i think that i have it here and actually i think that i have just a small ones because nobody my mom didn't like brown rice you know but actually i like it so that's why i bought for me okay what the hell okay it's right here okay look at this guys so this is the brown rice so in this case i buy this like in a small 
In this case, I buy this in a small box. Okay. I buy this in a small box because I am the only one like who eats like a brown rice. And the white rice, my mom loves it, so that's why I have a lot. So, okay. I am Il Richard East. I don't know if that's the pronunciation. I am in the Caribbean. I would love to try to taste the Colombian food. Colombian food is good. But actually, you know, my friend from yesterday, my student slash friend, you know, he was telling me how much he was enjoying Colombian food. But I met with another student last week and he was saying like, oh my God, Colombian food is awful. Like, I don't like it, you know. But so there are, I think that, like, uh, I think that the Colombian food can be very polemic. Like, there are many people who like it a lot. I'm talking about foreigners, but there are others who say, like, uh, it's, like uh, it's not good. So my friend from yesterday was telling me something, like, uh, to me, it was interesting. He said, the, the food from Colombia is very fresh and they don't add too many, like, I don't know, condiments, like uh, spices to the food. So that made the food like uh, a little bit plank. He was saying something like that. Because they are, they uh, when you are used to the food in the United States, like you have like a lot of condiments, like a lot of additive. So of course it's gonna taste different. It's gonna taste like it doesn't have flavor, this one. He was saying something like that. And it was the first time that I heard something like that. So that's why I found it interested. interesting, yes. Yeah, so, I don't know. I think the Colombia food is good, but I understand that it can be sometimes limited. Sometimes we don't, uh, I think that we are conservative even with food. You may be saying conservative, how the hell a country uh, like uh, doing vanilla pizza and all those weird combinations, like putting cheese on the top of everything is, is conservative. I don't know, that's the way in which I see it. Okay, so let me see how the rice is going. Beautiful, hermoso. Oh, I don't want to show it. So, blum, 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 blum. So, we have to wait until the water evaporates. So, uh, I, after the water evaporates, maybe we have to wait like 30 minutes. So, I don't know if you are going to see the results because this is going to be a pretty big line, like a long line, if we wait for the rice. So, let's see what is going to happen. Hola, Lamont. ¿Cómo estás? Rob say, Rob say, cook more rice. Everything is learning experience. I like, in my case, I love rice. Yeah, Rick is me say, yeah, you all Colombians eat rice and potatoes too at the same time. Don't get me started on the backward, backward stuff. stuff. Yeah, that's true, guys. Actually, like, uh, <laughs> you this, Colombians are more like a carboholic. Like in one dish, you can have plantain, by the way. I love plantain. You can have a potato. You can have cassava, yuca in one dish. You say, like, how the hell we're not fat eating that? Don't ask me how the hell we're not fat. But yes, yes, very crazy. By the way, guys, if you want to make, uh, many people love this plantain here in Colombia. In my case, I just threw it on the air fryer and it will be like 30 minutes and it will be amazing. It will be amazing. I love it. Okay. Eric say, I can't tell you're working. Oh yeah, let me show you my bathroom. <laughs> yeah, look at this guys. Actually, I don't know if you can see that I'm getting muscles, you know? And look at my shoulders. It was like, a, oh, what the hell? So yes, I'm working out. I really love to work out. So that's something that I do it like every single day. And I'm trying to live like weight, you know. So uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So thank you so much, Eric, for noticing. I don't know where my arms. I don't know my. Oh, what the hell? You didn't tell me. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> like uh, up here, 83 guys watching, and nobody tell me that I have my zipper down. Come on, guys. Are you kidding me? Okay. Hola, Randy, ¿cómo estás? Hello, Randy. 
how come the shelves are so empty? Okay. Uh, I don't know if you're asking about the shelves here. I don't know. So I have here X. I have here towels. I have here papaya and black chains. I have here glasses. I love wine. I have here plates. I have here a blender. Uh, what else? Here I have a lot of things. I don't know, like tea. Ah, oh, look at this. Look at what I have here, guys. Look at this. What I got here. Look at this. I have peanut butter. Look at this. You know, I got crazy about peanut butter in the United States. And now I buy a lot. Actually, I have two of these. So I think that this one is crunchy and this one is just creamy. Look at this. Actually, I am not eating it like that much now. Now I change it for, okay, it's dirty. <laughs> now I change it for almond butter. That I'm using more of this one. Actually, it's almost empty. Look at this, it's empty. Uh, I also have here, this her cheese 100 percent cacao okay and this one is on on sit on sweetening it i have to say guys that i buy these things in a place which is called price mark and basically they that's a place in which you are going to find all the products from the united states of course not all of them but many of the products from the united states you're going to find them there so actually i buy also this one there Okay. There? Oh, so the water already evaporates. So now I'm going to lower, I don't know how to say this, but la llama. The flame has to be very down. Guys, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. I cannot sing, you know. So uh, now that I say super chat, I'm going to paste my link again. I don't know, maybe somebody wants to help this crazy woman. <laughs> so let me paste it. Woo, yeah, I'm getting better with this. I'm getting better. Okay. Gerard, 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 Kobe. Kobe? Kobe, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, yeah, my zipper was down. <laughs> Nobody was telling me. Oh, my God, this is so embarrassing. Actually, it's not. Like, a, you know, I don't care. Yeah. Have you ever had black rice? Oh, yeah, I, I have, and I like it. But they call it wild rice. It was, like, a black, like, a really, really black, and it was, like, thin. I don't know. But I, I don't know if it's the same, but I have it. Yeah, my zipper, my zipper was down. <laughs> Nobody told me, you know. Nobody told me. Oh my god. Uh, Alexander is asking, do you eat more fruits, salads, or meat? Um, okay, I eat a lot of fruits. Uh, my favorite is papaya, my favorite one, and blueberries also. And um, in my case, I am like a because of the gym, I try to eat a lot of proteins, but actually, I cannot eat beef. I cannot eat beef, um, neither pork. So basically, I just eat chicken and fish. That's what I eat. And that's why I use like uh, almond butter and all those things because I need the protein if I want to grow these muscles. Yes. Um, somebody, GC say, I'm going to Santa Marta on Saturday. Any suggestion? Enjoy it. Eat a lot. Eat mojarra, eat fish. If you can go to, there are many like uh, beaches. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not talking about the, the all the uh, uh, beaches, like in which you go one swim, because I always confuse that those words. Um, actually, there is a girl from Santa Marta that I follow her. Her name is Paola Sanz, and she's always posting amazing things about Colombia, about Santa Marta. So if you can follow her on Instagram, you're going to love her. Like, uh, 
she knows everything actually i'm planning to go to visit her i think that maybe in january so be ready because we're going to do amazing content together peanut butter yes <laughs> okay i see they are not empty you have plenty now to choose yes yeah i have many things actually i have the uh yeah, I have here almonds, I have here oatmeal. <laughs> what else? Coffee, very important. What else? Uh, I don't know. That's it. Oh, no, not that one. <laughs> I shouldn't, I shouldn't show that one. That, that can be a little bit controversial. And I have also teas here. I have honey. And I have ghee. I'm crazy about ghee. I don't know if you guys eat ghee, but I am using ghee a lot. Ghee? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you use it. Oh my God. I bought this one. I'm crazy about this. This is sriracha. Uh, I love it. I love spices. Like a nah, like a, too much, but I really like spicy things. And coffee, cinnamon. I don't know what else to show you. I have this salsa from Mexico, which is a famous one, Valentina. I don't know what else to show you. Cacahuate. Uh, okay, uh, Jesus is asking if I have organic food here. You know, I don't visit in Colombia pretty much everything is organic. Like Maya, are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. Actually, I think that it's easier to find to find fresh things here. So that's why I say that most of the things are organic. But actually, when I was living with my mom with all this treatment, uh, we tried to eat like a organic and we tried to buy organic. But actually, guys, I didn't find it cheap. I think that it was expensive. And then I say like, what is the difference between this and this one? Like uh, the organic was overpriced. Of course, not as overpriced like in the United States. But I say like, uh, no, I'm going just to buy the regular ones, you know? And I just make sure to go to the Plaza de Mercado, to the markets, because they make sure that everything is like uh, fresh, you know? And they work directly with the farmers. So you are going to be supporting the farmers and their families, and you are going to be eating healthily. I don't know if that answered the question, actually. Okay, somebody say she's cooking. I can't believe it. What the hell? Why are you not going to believe me? You know, guys, I have been cooking since I, yeah, since I am 12 years old. And actually, you know, when I, my friend David, I invite him over for dinner. Like the last, last, no, like a two years ago. And you know, guys, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that he was like, a, oh my God, I can't believe that a woman is cooking for me. And I said like, oh, what are you talking about? And he was saying like, a, I don't know, it was like the first time. And he said like, how the hell is the first time, baby? Like, a, I couldn't believe it. In Colombia, you know, we are very family oriented. We are not saying that Colombia is a very conservative country. I'm not saying that all the women are going to be like a traditional, like a, are going to be like cooking for you and everything, but there are more possibilities to find, I don't know. Here, here the women show love through food. So there are more possibilities to, not women, like in general people, you know? So there are more possibilities that a woman, a, a woman in Colombia cook for you than maybe a woman in other countries. I don't know, like United States. And I'm not saying that they are going to be, I don't know, cooking for you the whole time. Like, a, cook for me, like a, you're a slave or something like that. No. Here we see it as a way to cheer, you know, life. Like, not like, a, if you don't cook for me today, I'm going to... No, no, no. That doesn't work like that. Okay, wait, Rick, Rick, Rick Smith is, so, is something, Rick Smith is saying something that I find funny. He said, don't reduce the heat, remove the pot from the stove or set the pot on the coal, on a coal eye. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me see if I understood. Don't reduce the heat, remove the pot from the stove. Oh, no, no, no. Like, uh, guys, once you are cooking the right 
you better do it like a, a straight. I don't, I don't know what to say. You cannot just turn, turn it off and leave. No, you have to, the race has to be like, continue. You cannot turn it off. You just turn it off when you are ready, when the race is ready, you know. Uh, okay, I don't know. Rick, please come back and explain me that because I don't want to say what are you saying. Okay, Jesus, Maya, ¿cuándo van a la playa? Oh, I would love to go to the beach. I would love it, guys. But I don't know, maybe January. I'm I'm planning a trip to La Guajira. So, guys, don't leave the channel. All the videos that I have planned for La Guajira are going to blow your mind. So, let, let's see what is going to happen. Kids say I eat a lot of peanut butter honey sandwiches. I was eating, can you believe, guys, that the first time that I had one of those was in United States? And I was like, how this is good, you know? That for me, well, I, they used to have for lunch that peanut butter sandwich. And I like, no, like, that's not, maybe that is not, but not at lunch. I, I like it, but actually not that much. Yes. Yes. <laughs> hey guys, in the description of this live, I'll leave my email for the guy, the beautiful guy who is going to send me a uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh? Sure. Like, I would love it. I would love it. I, I, I love to wear it. Yes. I, I was looking at yours. My life is a zipper. The whole video. My zipper is down. 84 guys here. <laughs> None of them told me. You don't know, you can't believe it. Law say white rice is easy to digest. Okay. Okay, wait. White rice is easy to digest uh, for most people. Yeah, 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 that's true. Oh, look at who, who just joined me. Maybe he, I'm not saying that he just joined me, uh, that I'm seeing him. Scott, hola, Scott, thank you so much for your support. Scott is always here. I'm showing him love, oh my God. Uh, and so, uh, like, uh, gracias. I always say the same. Oh, thank you so much, I appreciate it. I want to say something different, like, I don't know. I'm going to invent, make make something up. You should do an interview with ja Jaffrey. <laughs> yes, I don't know. It's crazy how how Jamfrey got that famous in like a, in like a, in a few days, guys. Jamfrey is a guy. And he's from Choco. A guy, no, he's a boy. He's four years, no, three years old, and he is from Choco. And he got famous because his father did a video in which he was like a walking like this, a three years old boy walking like this, and his father was telling me like. A, Oh my God, John! Tell me why you are you look like like a you walk like that. He say like a, I walk like a mom. I'm a mom, you know. And it was hilarious. It was so funny. And now, you know, Colombian is are weird. Now, John, a three years old boy, is everywhere. You can see it on YouTube, the TV. It's gonna be John in all in all the channels. Like, how the hell got so famous? That happened like a 15 days ago, and now. Like, a, everybody's going crazy, and everybody wants an interview with Jamfrey. But <laughs> Jamfrey's a three year old boy, you know. It, Colombians are just weird. I don't know if that happens in your country, but here that happens a lot. A lot. That happens a lot. Oh, Randy, gracias. Muchas gracias. I really appreciate it. Did Lianis get her flowers for me yet? She hasn't posted a picture yet. Oh my God. That's true. Yeah, actually, I, actually, I don't know what to do. I don't know if, if I should get her the money or get her the flowers. I think that it's better if she get the flowers because I don't think that she's going to buy the, I don't think that she's going to buy the flowers if I give her the money, you know? So I think that I'm going to buy her the flowers. So please, Randy, don't leave. Don't leave. I promise you that I, I'm going to make sure that you receive the flowers this this week. Because actually, Lianis is not living with me anymore. She moved to the north, like a very, very north, like a very far away. Well, not like one hour away. So uh, I'll make sure. So please, 
make sure that you follow her and, and I'll tell her to to post the picture. Yeah. Yellow banana? I didn't see many yellow banana imaging. What is yellow? Like, are you talking about this? Because this is a plantain. Or are you talking about bananas? Yellow plantain is very famous here. Like, it doesn't look good, but actually, but actually, you, when you go to the store, you buy, like, give me all the ripen, ripen banana that you have. Like, this is the way in which we eat it. Like, the reapers, the sweeter so we eat it like that you didn't get you didn't get yellow black again i can believe it i can believe it no the rice is not ready yet guys we have to give it a time colombians are happy and friendly very true very true very true and actually that's why i like the movie encanto because you can see that like even uh, it will be better. It, 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 could, it could be nicer to live in a country in which the conditions are different, you know, like a too much poverty here, too much like a like a lot like a not many job opportunities. But even we grow under those conditions, we try to be happy. So that's something like a, I think that it's easy to be happy when you have like everything, but when you don't have everything, you don't you have you have lack of many things and you try to see you you try to stay positive and you try to see well, i don't know good things about your life or whatever that's when real have that's when you for real can see happiness you know fitness stuff say tengo mucha hambre no but it's not ready yet <laughs> we have to wait like uh, it's not ready yes we have to wait a little bit melvin say bogota is mucho frío almost all day yeah are you, are you kidding me? Are you gonna tell me that? Are you gonna tell me that? You know, I'm always cold in Bogota. You maybe say, yeah, woman, put a jacket on. I hate jackets. So I don't know. I am not a woman for the cold weather. And I have been living here 15 years. Uh, I I wear jackets only when it's necessary. Like uh, other than that, I am like this the whole time. Wow, Randy said Chavillian is every day. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so definitely I have to make sure that she gets the flowers. Yeah, I have to make sure. Okay. Peanut butter and banana sandwich. Oh, I have heard that. I eat that but with all the bread, like uh, with the banana and the peanut butter. Thank God, thanks, thank God for you too, right? Yes, like uh, to me, now you too is my income, you know? I'm very happy about it because I can make my living doing what I like, which is making rice, meeting people. I love to meet people, you know? This is the way in which I am. And of course, I'm very grateful about it. Okay, let me see. No joke, no, no, I'm not joking. I'm not joking for sure. For sure, I, I, I'll, I'll make sure that Liani get the flowers. Will be easy to find a place for a, for a gringo to get COVID test before his flight in Europe from America. Yeah, yeah, it's very easy, very easy. Uh, you're not going to have problems. Actually, you are you are getting that, that test like uh, in many places. I think that even in the airport, they are doing the test. White rice. Yes, I'm making white rice, but it's not ready yet. No, it looks... Okay, so that's why I put the onion like big, because now you can just remove it. Okay, so I think that we have to wait like maybe like 20 minutes. So questions. Okay. <laughs> Randy saying no, I mean, I wasn't, joke I wasn't joking about that. Uh, you were joking about the charity. That's great. That's great. She's an amazing woman, you know. She just have. How can I say this? You know, I was talking. I was talking with with my friend yesterday. Um. He was telling me that he was impressed to see uh, like uh, that in Colombia you can find beautiful women every day, and I was telling him he 
And you know what? Beautiful women everywhere, and they don't even know that they are that beautiful, you know? And that ha- that happens with Lianis. Like, uh, guys, Lianis is beautiful, you know? Like, uh, she... She's beautiful. She has an amazing hair. She has a great body. She has a beautiful face. But she has a lot of confidence problems, and she thinks that she's not beautiful. So sometimes when you have confidence problems, you think that you're not worth it, and you are going to basically end up, I don't know, with a guy, which is the drunk of the time, like a guy who doesn't have, I don't know, like, I don't know how to say, ambitions or something like that. Yes, like, like a how, well, you know, you know, I'm getting deep, I'm getting profound, but it's like, how the hell she can think that she's ugly, you know, she's not ugly, she's beautiful, you know, but the confident problems, and um, she's not the only one, I know many, many, many women that I say like, many women, like, a, oh my God, this will be in a runway, you are so beautiful, but they think that they are not beautiful, not it, they don't think, the problem is that they don't, I think that the problem is that they don't think that they are beautiful. The problem is that they think that they are ugly. So how the hell do you think that you're ugly? You are beautiful. Um, um, you can end up dating a woman who looks like a model here. And I say that, that always happens. And she wouldn't even know that she looks like a model, you know? Okay, let me see the comments. So funny. Yeah, Randy, tell her you are the most beautiful woman on earth. I try to tell her every well, not every day because that would be weird. Oh, mommy, beautiful. No, that would be weird. So I try, like, every time that I see her, I tell her. Like, yesterday, uh, we went, uh, she also was there with my friend. And my friend was telling her, Oh my God, Liani, you're so beautiful. And she was like, Me? Like, are you, are you, are you kidding me? Yes. Oh, look at what, look at who got here. Hey, Basil, come inside. I was missing you. What the hell? Like, why are you here or you just joined? Like, uh, I didn't see you. Come inside. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Um, Melvin. Melvin, gracias. Muchas gracias. Oh, my God. I'm really excited. Oh, please tell her. Okay, Maya. Do you make arroz con pollo? Yes, I also make arroz con pollo. What are we having with the white rice? I didn't cook anything else. This is just a video for the rice. I guess that I have to do another one with the meat and everything. Just the rice. I'm sorry. <laughs> Would you accept a Pittsburgh Steelers jacket? Oh my God, sure. I, yeah, it sounds, sounds exciting. I want it, yeah, sounds good. Actually, I was impressed with the video that I that I, uh, I did with with uh, with the guy who sell the sport jackets and everything. When I tried the jacket, I said, oh my God, Maya, you look, you look hot, you look good, because it was the first time that I was trying a jacket like that one. Yeah, I leave the, the my email so you can contact me and we will find a way. They come to America, they may here we will tell the yes. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I don't know how to say this guys, and I was telling my friend, like uh, you can end up with a supermodel. And she would know that she looks like a supermodel. And the other thing is, I don't know why, but here sometimes, sometimes men, I know what you generalize, you know that I am again generalizing. Sometimes they are not, I don't know. Sometimes they don't show, I don't know, that they care. And that's why Randy sent Liana's flowers. She said that nobody will never send her flowers. Nobody. She will. She never had. I don't know, like a dinner, you know, with a guy. She was just, uh, all the guys just invite her to a beer, and not not even in a in a in a nice place, just on the street. Oh, you want a beer? Okay, come on, get a beer, and that's it. It's like, uh, what? How? How that can happen? And that's why I say. 
you guys are, your culture is different and you were raised in another way. So I think that you have a lot of chances when you come here and the women are not used to those things. Not all of them, but not many. I remember a, a student who told me that he took, he took uh, the woman who was, he was dating, he took her to a spa and they got massages and I don't know, like chocolate massages. Don't ask me about it, like if they were together or if they were, I don't know, it, it was a couple, I don't, I don't know how it was. And then I met the woman and she said like, a, I can't believe it. It's the first time that a guy uh, shows that he cares about me this much. And she was even embarrassed to, 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 to take the gift. Like, on a spa? Me? Are you kidding me? Because she was like, a, she feel like a, she, did, she wasn't worth it, you know? And that guy, and that woman already have a daughter, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me that I'm crazy, but I'm thinking about it. Okay, guys, so I think that we are almost done. I'm going to send my link, you know, for the last time. So maybe if you want to support, I'll be very lucky. <laughs> I'll be very lucky. Okay, so let me find it. As always, I never find it. Guys, tomorrow I'm posting a very, very interesting video. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Okay, so let me, let me get the link I got it here. So if you want to support Maya, muchas gracias. Okay, for the people who is joining me, why the hell I'm cooking rice? I don't know why the hell I'm cooking rice, but I'm cooking rice. No, it was just because in the video that I did about Encanto, the movie, Disney movie, many people, many, I was making rice and guys, many guys, you know, when we say many guys, it's like maybe one. <laughs> say like, oh Maya, you know how to cook rice. Teach us how to cook rice, and that's why I decided to do this video. Okay, James say in the in the United States when men go all out, we are seen as weak. Okay, I don't understand that. Can you explain that, please? Yes, Randy, when she say that no one have ever seen her flowers, I was a son. Yes. And that's the same story with a lot of girls. Like, uh, they never been in a date, in a real day. They never get flowers, not even chocolate, not even a candy, you know? It's like, I think that is something cultural. It's something cultural. But when you are in Bogota, guys from Bogota are, are different. Like, uh, they care about those things. But when you're in the coast, they are not like that. Okay, I cannot generalize. Well, maybe I'm already generalizing, so I better shut up. No, actually, guys, I already had dinner. <laughs> I am just cooking this for you because I cannot eat this late. If I eat this late, I'm going to be up the whole night. I don't know, maybe doing videos, <laughs> editing videos. And no, I already ate. I ate uh, mashed potatoes with uh, with uh, chicken and salad. That's what I ate. I don't. I try not to eat a lot of carbohydrate at night. So this is gonna be for tomorrow, I guess. Okay, so. It looks like it's almost done. And the smell, it smells, it smells like garlic. Okay, Jim say, women look down at men who do a lot of the first days. Okay, but what do you consider like a lot? Because actually, guys, I learned, I learned that I, I little, blah, 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 blah. okay, sorry. I learned what one word this week, and that word was clinging. I don't know. Actually, when I heard the word clinging, <clears throat> I thought in a subject, what is the language? The clinging? Klingo. Yeah, when I when I heard when I heard that guy, my friend saying clinging, I thought what is clinging? Clinging. And I say, subject? Clinging? The language? But no, he said that a woman, or I don't know if just for woman or for guys also who are like a very, I don't know, sticky. We call it meloso. Meloso when you're like a Oh, mama, la, 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 the whole time. So I don't know what is what it will be considered too much in a date, like in the first day. So you tell me, please. Uh, I got here another super chat. 
whoa, if I can pronounce that name, I definitely deserve this super chat. <laughs> okay, let me, let me start. Yuka Hakaram. Yuka Hakarai name. Yuka Hakarai name. Thank you so much for the super chat. Greetings from Helsinki. Oh my God, how cold is there? I think that now it's crazy cold. Helsinki. I can't believe that somebody's watching me now for Helsinki. What time it is over there? Thank you. Muchas gracias. Okay, somebody say, Maya, you are big time now. Get the iPhone 13 with the image stabilization. Yes, maybe with this super chat. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know, guys, but iPhones in Colombia are pretty freaking expensive. I have the uh, X Air. That's the one that I have. Um, I don't think that I'm unable to buy the last one. Oh my God, that's too expensive. Como, como cuánto cuesta? Como unos seis millones? Like seven millions, seven millions, that's a lot. Seven millions for, for a phone, oh my God. I'm still paying this one. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, it sounds very bad. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, I'm reading. Oh, like they're spending a lot of money. Maya, James say, Maya, what I mean is spending a lot of money here. You know, even guys like in Colombia, you don't have to spend a lot of money when you are in a date. I have seen people who go to the cinema Oh, somebody uh, corrected me that it was in cinema. It was cinema, a cinema. Johnny, it was Johnny. You know, Johnny is always like, oh, Maya, come on. Like, Do you teach English? Do you... That's too bad. So he sent me an audio and told me, cinema, cinema. You know, you don't have to spend a lot of money here. You have to show that you care. Like, for example, going to the cinema here, it can be, I don't know, like one ticket can be $1. Two dollars. I don't know if you eat the food. You don't have to spend more than ten dollars. Like, but maybe a nice little later. Let's say twenty dollars per day. So that doesn't sound bad. Have seen guys here picking women to McDonald's just to eat a hamburger for a day. I don't know, but remember, guys, that uh, over here the the McDonald's are different. McDonald's here are like a super fancy. Like, oh my god, you feel like a I don't know Isabel the Queen. I don't know, they uh, eating in McDonald's because they are very nice. But in the United States, when I went to a, to a when I went to a, to a McDonald's, I was like, what the hell is happening here? Everything was dirty. There were like a lot of homeless in the McDonald's, and it, it looks I don't know. There they, they were many chairs bro chairs broken, and I said. Like, but in Colombia, it's not like that. Why a McDonald's look like this one in the United States? I didn't understand that. So you don't have to invest a lot of money, guys. Yeah, I will do a video. Oh, wait a minute. I think, I think that I got a donation in PayPal. Oh, my God. Thank you, Charles. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, my God. I appreciate it. Oh, my God. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Yeah. So, guys. I always send a message, private message, an email to all the people to who send me uh, donations through PayPal. So sometimes I take time, but I do it. So if you have any question, uh, I don't know, any requests or something like that, I'll, I'll, I'll answer uh, through PayPal. You know? Okay, I'm not saying that I'm going to answer just to the tools and PayPal. That's not what I'm saying. But of course, I, have, I am very grateful for the support. Okay, what is happening here? It looks like uh, it's getting hot. Charles, thank you so much. Uh, he, uh, he's even put it, he even put a message here. I just sent $10 to so my estate. But anyone else? Oh my God, gracias. Phew! Oh, thank you so much. Oh my God, muchas gracias. Kids say have a great evening. Maya, stay sweet. Mm. Gracias, besitos.
Okay, wait, wait, wait. It looks like somebody's fighting here. Okay, you guys fight. I'm going to drink my rice. Okay. So now, guys, what I do is that I take this. Okay, let's put it here. Because a rice with this is not going to look nice. What the hell am I cooking a rice? I don't know. I, I am cooking rice at uh, 9 p.m. in a life. I know, I'm weird. Okay, so, and what my mom does is that she calls, she call it voltear. So, to sweep, swift it, swift it, something like that. Yeah, like uh, she say that now you have to put, you have to do something like this to make sure that the part in the top is cooked also. Okay, Alexander, let me know if this looks like oatmeal. Let me know. What is my my dad? My dad, when I need it. I should call him again. What? Okay, so now you just do this and your rice is ready. Okay, I think that is done, but actually I already ate, so I don't want to eat rice. But I'm going to taste it, you know, for you. A ver. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's done. Woo! I love it. Maybe you don't believe me, but it's good. It's good. If you will be here, I'll make right for everybody. Okay, let's see what is happening. Mm. Okay, I see something in paper. <laughs> Thank you. Randall is very definitely decide to win Liani's heart. <laughs> Randall, thank you so much. Don't worry about the flowers. She's gonna get those flowers. Like what you want what you want me to buy for her? Like roses, I don't know. Maybe maybe an orchid. Oh no, not an orchid. They are too expensive. <laughs> but something else, I don't know. Let me know. Gracias. Hello, Ricardo Melendez. ¿Cómo estás, Ricardo? And a Burger King guy. Okay, you tell me, how are Burger Kings in your country? Are they clean, like the places? Because in Colombia, they are super clean. I went to McDonald's over there, but not Burger King. I, I was disappointed with McDonald's. Maybe, I think that I went to the, that, the, that McDonald's was in Philadelphia. I think it was in Philadelphia, the one who... We, which was dirty. I think that it was in Philadelphia or Baltimore. I was in Baltimore and also Philadelphia. Yeah, definitely I'm, I have to do, I'll ask you at McDonald's. Maybe a live or video, you let me know. The, okay, somebody say no dancing for the don't rise. <laughs> no. It's weird. <laughs> I feel weird. Okay, guys, so the rice is done. I think that we are going to leave. Um, I have to clean it up because otherwise I will burn it. I promise you that I'll do another video with this because, oh my God, they are freaking And um, What else? Somebody was asking me about this. This was a present from a student and a friend. Uh, I don't know if you remember Jail, my student Jael. He he got it for me. Ooh! Actually, guys, I'm crazy about the Mandalorian. Oh my god, I love the Mandalorian. And also this one. Oh, you know, I haven't shown you this. Wait. Look at this, guys. When I went to Philly, I got this one. You know, I'm crazy. I, I you know sometimes I got the how do you say the magnets? I don't know. I was. I got an I I got one. Es cierto que en la prisión de Einstein, este, eso fue en en Boston, no en Filadelfia. I bought this one. This is Michael Foucault in the Eastern prison. It was a prison. I don't remember. I don't. I don't remember. Oh, I got this one. Tú sabes por allá, cierto? The Eastern State Penitentiary of Philadelphia. I got this one too. Al Capone. 
Uh, what other one? My brother lives in Australia, so he got me this one. With the, what is the name of this? ¿Cómo se llama esto? With the boomerang. He got me this one. Of course, we have, everybody needs one of these from New York. But I already told you, I didn't like New York that much. Oh, and I got this one too. Where? The Havran Lincoln? I don't remember where I got this one. In Washington. Yeah, I got this one in Washington. Yeah, but you know, it's already whatever. And Colombia, of course, I have the Colombia. Oh, oh, this one. This one my favorite. I bought this one in Baltimore, Black uh, Hard Rock of Baltimore. It was beautiful, like a long time ago. Now it's not beautiful anymore. And I think that this is it. And this one, of course, a very tacky, <laughs> but I bought that one. Okay, guys. So I'm leaving because I don't know. I have to edit one video. Uh, that video is gonna be out tomorrow. So I'm going to keep working on that video. So I'm just going to read the last messages and this is. Okay, so Jason, Maya looks exactly like my ex. That's why I like her. Oh, so you still love your ex. That sounds like a problem. <laughs> well, we have, okay, well, let me see. All Capone, the original Scarface. Scarface. Yeah, I talk a lot, I know. Baltimore and Philly, oh my, you pick the wrong places. Mm. You know, I was in Virginia, so I have like a, 10 days of vacations. And I think they wanted to go farther because I don't know. I didn't have the money to go like very fast. So I just traveled on the East Coast. I went to Boston. I went to Baltimore. I went to, I went to Philly. Like all those places, they were like together. Not together, but like a very close. So I don't know much. I just know that part, the East Coast. Yes, Jim say yeah, we, we broke up like two years ago, yeah, but you still love her, yes. I went to New York, I went to New York, but I don't know, people was a little bit rude, so I didn't like it that much. Rob say is not any better down south, I can tell you having fun guys on tuesday is the candle day i'm going to do a video about it maybe a live so i don't know if you don't know what is a candle day you have to you have to join me in that live so you are going to love it i always say that you're going to love it so you're going to love it so you have to join me guys thank you so much uh, i actually want to go back to the united states i want to go to california i have many friends in california like now you know back then i didn't know anybody in the united states so I'm going to clean this mess. This mess, the rice was success, a success, success. Uh, and a line is very good. My dad will be proud. So um, I'll paste my link for the guys who, who are going to send me the pigs full jacket. Yes, yes. Okay, this is enough. Randy, gracias. Liane is gonna be very happy with the flowers. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining me today. Um, she will love Miami. I have heard that Miami is nice, but actually I didn't want to go to Miami because I wanted to learn English. In Miami, I don't know, I'm not sure about how much English you can practice. Ed, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to paste my link from the last time, I don't know. And uh, come to Cali. I want to go to Cali. Okay. Oh my God. Why the hell I have to struggle every single time? I don't know. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Who's somebody? Yeah. One, uh, one, one, whatever. Yes. Uh, sorry to say whatever, but I don't know what it says. One J Jax. Yes. I already speak English. So. Maybe Miami, it can be good, yes. Yes, yes, fix for a Steelers jacket. Yes, 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 I'll, I'll paste the, my email, okay? So you contact me. Teddy Bear, buenas noches. Okay, I don't know, I keep saying hello, I keep saying, I have to say bye. Guys, 
Thank you so much. If you are going to make the rice, please send me pictures on Instagram or email or whatever. And you let me know. You let me know. You let me know. I don't think that it looks like oatmeal. Okay. You know, in the camera, it doesn't look that good. But I'm telling you, it's amazing. Love you guys. Love you.